Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today is Saturday, March 12th, 2020. And today represents my personal two-year anniversary COVID-19 informational video. It's my time to say thank you for all the people who have been watching these videos. Some have been with me for the two years as I have sought to bring forth information from all over this country and from many places around the world. I have been encouraged by your comments and your guidance. And again, I appreciate you. You know, looking back on March 11th, 2020, the World Health Organization declared COVID a global pandemic. And here in the United States, it was declared a national emergency on March 13th, 2020. We have certainly come a long way, but there's still so much work to do. As of today, 11 billion people worldwide have had at least one dose of a COVID-19 vaccine. We have many drug therapies and clinical trials. We have some promising antiviral treatments. You know, there's a lot to learn, but scientists are collaborating. They know more today than they knew two years ago, but we still have work to do. Sadly, we have to continue to combat misinformation and this pandemic remains so politicized and polarizing. The pandemic has been very hard on people financially and socially, and experts say that this pandemic has brought about an enormous mental health crisis, not only in adults, but in children and teens. So as we enter into year three, please take care of your emotional and mental health. And if you're a parent, please pay special attention to your children. We know that the suffering isn't over. Just yesterday, here in the United States, 1,684 people died from COVID-19. And worldwide, 996,000, almost 1 million people died from COVID-19 from around the world just yesterday. And millions of people suffer with various manifestations of long COVID both adults and youth, and we still have billions of people who remain unvaccinated. There's lots of work to do. So as I close, I hope that you will be well, and also I hope that you will be well informed in the days ahead. Take care, folks, and as always, my views are my own.